Another mosquito-borne virus to be concerned about is West Nile, and Metro Health has confirmed the virus has been detected in mosquitoes in southeast Nashville. Our Tony Sloan is following this for us from the health department. He joins us live, as you can see. And uh, Tony, people in the area will be notified, but, but thankfully no one's been infected that we know of so far, right? Yeah, that's right. The good news is the health department says that there are no human cases that are reported and they say they've captured the mosquitoes at a trap near the intersection of Bell Road and Anderson Road. Pest management, they've also revisited the area to set up some additional traps, monitor the area of standing water and to apply larvicide if mosquito larvae is present. The department made it clear that they do not spray to kill adult mosquitoes. So what can you do to stay safe? The health officials say that you can cut back overgrown vegetation where those mosquitoes can easily hide, reducing or eliminating all standing water in your yard, especially in those children toys, bird baths, clogged gutters and trash cans that can make a world of difference. The health officials, they recommend limiting your time outdoors at dusk and, and night when those mosquitoes are the most present. And if you must be outdoors, they say we're a mosquito repellent. That's approved by the CDC. We know it's hot out, but they say long sleeve shirts and those pants, those are the best things to wear to protect the skin and protect you from the West Nile virus.